experience the most viable because you have um, uh, then you have access to several different markets, several different clients. The buildings would then be in use 24 hours a day mm -hmm. and have the potential to generate income, you know, all the time. Right. Which I would think is what you want as a developer. Right. Um, you know, you being an artist, and I didn't mention the fact that this has, you know, ideal exposure for, um, you know, for artists. But mm -hmm. the, the realistic issue here is that at least in my the way I see this, I don't know that artists generate a great deal of money. <laughs> so, you know, from the standpoint of real estate development, is that a market you want to go after? Because of what you do, maybe it is. That's part of the market. Okay. Yeah. Well, we need to look at how that can be, if it can be subsidized, mm -hmm. how it can be subsidized. Because mm -hmm. I don't personally see that as being a uh, cash generator, uh, unless you've got somebody that's independently wealthy and you're right. only going to rent or lease to artists that are already successful. Right, right, right. <laughs> it's probably not going to happen here. Right, right. right. <laughs> so, you know, we'll, we'll have to see how that plays out, but mm -hmm. uh, I'd like to be a part of this. I think this is a great project. I mean, mm -hmm. the building has so much potential, mm -hmm. and I'm actually surprised that it's been vacant for as long as it has. Mm -hmm. I think that if it were in a different neighborhood, it would have long been gone. Mm -hmm. But this neighborhood has been, uh, I think, sorely neglected. It's a nice neighborhood. Mm -hmm. But it, it, there's been very little in the way of economic development, you know, north of the Inner Harbor in mm -hmm. Baltimore in any concentrated way. Mm -hmm. Who's this going to be seen by? <laughs> <laughs> I'm recording it for my own purposes okay, at this right. point. Well, I don't know. It may find its way on the, on the <laughs> on Channel the 11 way. News. <laughs> Probably not. I'm not that important. Nah, right. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I, I think that uh, this could be a catalyst for other forms of development. I believe so as well. Yeah. yeah. The I thing is so, that yeah. it's not close enough to Falls Road. See, the other pocket of development happens just on the eastern side of Falls Road. I know. And I estimate that to be maybe a little bit more than a mile and a half away from here. What happens at Wabash Avenue, you know, you've got some um, kind of disjointed businesses, automobile businesses, mm -hmm. uh, car washes, mm -hmm. and I think there's a grocery store or two in that area. There is one right down the street, yeah. yeah. But, uh, you know, it's Funeral kind of loosely. Home. Yeah, it's yeah. all stand standalone. Yeah, right, right. And so there's no real um, concerted commercial development in this neighborhood at all. Well, you know, when you're sitting, well, the, the, the subway system here is, of course, different than D.C. Well, but, the subway system here sucks. Yeah. But, you know, it, has, <laughs> but, uh, it should have potential. Yeah, it does. And, and But Wabash Avenue right there. I mean, you can see at some point, it all depends on who decides to move in the neighborhood, That's as true. you and I both know. You know, if a certain kind of folk decide to move in the neighborhood and it say, changes oh, the dynamic. It, it, everything changes. Well, what happens is people come to the neighborhood. People are attracted to neighborhoods for a number of reasons. Number one is the school system. Right. And the, the, the perceived amenities that are offered in that neighborhood. Right. Now, this is, at one time, I understand this was a Jewish neighborhood. That was it many, was. many, many years ago. It was. And um, what has happened to traditional history of neighborhoods in transition? I'm not sure if this is considered one of those. But where uh, uh, moderate and lower income African American families have lived generally have become more desirable areas because they're generally closer to the business center and they're closer to the areas where people like to come for amusement and for entertainment. Mm -hmm. and, you know, just there are different levels of services that exist mm -hmm. in those communities. This essentially is a suburban, even though it's in the city. True that. It's a suburban neighborhood. So the levels of activities that occur, this, this, this part of the city tends to roll up its sidewalk after 6 o'clock. Right. You know, you don't find a lot of activities on the street after dark. Yeah. Right, right. But again, that's because of the lack of commercial development. There are right. no drugstores. There are no uh, entertainment uh, menu, uh, uh, venues. Right. And so if there were places that people would go to accommodate various uh, desires, you know, roller skating rinks, movie theaters, drugstores, grocery markets, um, you know, even doctors and dentist offices or minute clinics, things like that, all those things tend to attract uh, other other types of uses. Mm -hmm. uh, in this case, I think that this building, depending again on the kinds of things you put in it, will become a uh, destination, which is a desirable thing. If in fact it becomes that, and people come here to partake of what happens inside this building, it's gonna generate the desire for people to buy the houses around here. And it would then generate additional interest in having other activities in the neighborhood, right. which could occur in this building or it could occur in areas that may be available for development, you know, close by. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. thinking about what happens here, I think that the best start would be to look at some type of an activity where, because you got a parking lot where people could come and uh, spend money and be entertained mm -hmm. and feel good when they leave, mm -hmm. which suggests in the short run some type of a, uh, alcoholic beverage establishment. I'm not necessarily promoting that. Mm -hmm. I don't know what the zoning would allow in that. Mm -hmm. I'd have to look at it. Mm -hmm. But 
if there's no objection from the community and if you were putting artists in here as well and incubator businesses in here as well mm -hmm. and a place where people could eat lunch as well you know so it's a tall order but you know this 30,000 square feet can accommodate that and more right exactly. plus if we do something even if we're talking about doing the uh, solar uh, collectors on the roof mm -hmm. to put a green roof on top of this building would be a desirable thing too because mm -hmm. that's an added feature it becomes even more of a desirable thing and there's certain things you can do up there that might be commercially viable too where you, mm -hmm. you know people would pay money to come and be a part of that right you know, because uh, rooftop uh, restaurants are a pretty good thing in New right. York. They make a lot of money. True that. True that. True that. <laughs> and we don't have a whole bunch of those in Baltimore. True so that. Yeah. This could be a pretty cool neighborhood for that. Yeah. Yeah. True that. Music. You know, music and art. So yeah. you can play on that big time. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, I can get excited about this. <laughs> <laughs> I heard that. Wish I owned it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, so uh, is there anything you want to ask me about this? Because I think I kind of rambled on a little bit. No, you, you kind of answered what <laughs> the questions I, I had, if I had any. <laughs> yeah. um, like I said, I, you know, the, the, the bottom line thing is just to, I think more than anything else, is to find out what the building tells us in terms of its condition, et cetera, and all the rest of that. Well, let me offer you a, a, a potential scenario. Mm -hmm. One, you, you do need to undertake a feasibility analysis. You probably should enlist the aid of um, several different people. You want to um, get, uh, you know, kind of a cursory structural analysis done. My, my cursory feeling is after looking at this, the building's in great shape structurally. Uh -huh. But you want to get someone to give you a written document that identifies where, if any, any deficiencies might exist. Okay. All right. Um, the feasibility study, I think, is important because you need to assess what else is in the neighborhood, what types of uses this facility might be able to support, and then some type of um, uh, initial financial uh, stab at this thing, you know, and a timeline. You need to put a schedule together, and certainly professionals such as myself or others could assist you with determining uh, when certain things might be available, certain things might come online, and if you have a source of funding at all, then we need to kind of identify all of that. Right. You know, so all of this should be a part of that study. Okay. okay? The drawings that you have, uh, I think it's very, very good that you have something. Right. But uh, critical to that would be to take the existing uh, drawings to document the shape that the building is in right now and then to conceptualize what, um, what you want done to the building. You know, so there's some things apparently the drawings you have did not show the full layout of the building, correct? Now, um, from the way it looks, it, it showed up to the building was, and I don't know a certain way, it was that built part. Phases. That part was built first, yeah. and then this part was built second. Right. And uh, I don't know whether it's where you have. It looks like that was a logical place. Of the yeah. Project, but, uh, it, right it, up it, there, it, that that this ceiling up here. Because um, on the roof, we can go up there, but I think it, it may be here. You see, the the, the yeah, green is wider. Right. Yeah. This looks like it's a logical point. You know. There's a crack in the wall too, you know, so it looks like that. Right. 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 So it looks to me like that was a logical point at which this building stopped. Right. Yeah. Now we can go up. Let's go up on the, on the roof. Yeah, and then we can button up a little bit. 